This is the bow that I'm gonna make. It's gonna be just a double loop uh, with about a seven or eight inch tail. I think I've got enough ribbon left to do that. So I'm gonna put my ribbon on my ribbon holder. And I have a chenille stem. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut up a notch in the end. This will be my cut end of the ribbon and this is my working end. Now, it's always kind of easy to keep up with a working end when you've got your ribbon still on the spool, but if you're working with a cut piece of ribbon, it makes it a little harder, but you need to keep up with what's the cut end and what's the working end. So, I've got my chenille stem. I'm gonna lay the ribbon wrong side to the outside of the pegs, and I'm gonna have about a seven or eight inch tail, and I'm just gonna tuck that under the board out of my way for right now. This is like a figure eight ribbon. So it's coming around this first post. I'm coming back to the center and this is just to kind of help me keep up with where my center is. I'm gonna pinch the ribbon, twist to get the right side up. And then I'm gonna go around the second post, come back to the center, pinch it together Give it a twist. This will be the second loop on that side. Come back to the center, pinch it together. Give it a twist, get the right side up. I'm just kind of holding what I've got in the center kind of pinched between my forefinger and my thumb. Come back around this post. Now I have two loops on each side. Come back to the center. And now I'm gonna take this working end and just go over the top of the bow. Now I can cut it off at this point or leave it attached either way. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. Now then, I have my chenille stem back here. I wanna make sure that I catch it. I'm gonna take that tail that I started with out from under the board Pull it around to the back. This is going to be the part that comes over and makes the knot. So I'm going to fold that ribbon over and make it uh, narrow. So I'll have a neater looking knot. Just kind of keep holding everything. And then I'm going to bring that right over the center of the bow. And I can take this peg out of the way. And I want to Make sure that I have my chenille stem caught. And I want to make sure that I've got that knot, the center of my bow. And then I'm going to take that and fold the folded ribbon and poke it back under the bow. Pull it out to the back. This was my cut in. I'm so close you can't see that. My cut in, and this was my working in. And I've got my chenille, stem, my chenille stem caught. Of course, you can use a zip tie or floral wire here. Now, I want to bring this over to the right side. I want to catch that cut in in my right hand. And then I want to tie a knot. And I want to make sure that I still have the cut in in my right hand and then I'm gonna tighten the knot down. I kind of let go of everything now and kind of work that knot down. Don't pull your chenille stem out. You wanna pull on your ribbon like this. You don't wanna pull it this way, but make sure you've got your cut in in your right hand. You snug that knot down, kind of keep an eye on what you've got on the front here. Make sure it's nice and neat. This is thick ribbon, so it's, you know, it's kind of hard to get a thick knot, I mean a thin knot. Just keep pulling it down, working it down. Okay, and then you can slip it off the pegs. Start fluffing out your ribbon. Now this ribbon 
this knot is not as tight as like if you're working with floral wire or chenille stem. So you want to be careful when you fluff out your ribbons that you don't uh, pull them and, and get them whopsided or anything. If you've got one a little shorter than the other, you can, you know, pull on that and make a little bit of adjustment. Make sure you got your tails coming to the front. Of course, now you can even up your tails and trim them both off. Take your chenille stem on the back and just give it a twist. And then you've got your chenille stem to use to attach it if you want to use this, you know, as a wreath bow or, you know, on a Christmas tree or, you know, anything like that. Package bow, you, you could, you know, do it as a package bow. Um, okay. Well, that's it. Uh, let, I would practice, practice on ribbon, uh, get some inexpensive ribbon, like get one of those big rolls of ribbon at Sam's and uh, practice. A thinner ribbon is easier to practice with than thick ribbon. Uh, this iridescent ribbon is thinner, so it's easier to work with. And even here's a sheer one that I, that I did. Uh, just practice, you know, practice till you get the look that you like. Uh, and like I say, you can slip a zip tie uh, before you close your knot or chenille stem or foil wire, whatever you want to use to uh, attach your bow. Of course, you can make it any size that you want too. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.